Speaking of new initiatives, Prime Minister Netanyahu is looking to reimpose harsher restrictions over the coronavirus. But critics accuse the Premier of using the new directives to protect himself. Well, the new Justice Minister, Avi Nissenkohn, is hoping to soften these new emergency rules. And here to discuss is the founder and president of the Jerusalem Washington Center, Gideon Israel. Gideon, it's a pleasure to have you back in the, in the studio. Good now, to be back. Now, next Monday, the Knesset is to vote on the first reading of this bill. Okay? Uh, what does it actually entail? So it's important to understand that um, we, the state of Israel, inherited some of the British mandate law, which is that the government has the right to enact emergency measures if it if it so desires, or if it or if it feels that there's a need to do so, and those measures are limited to three months. Mm -hmm. So some of the measures that have already been enacted from January, February, and March are expiring now. And in order to renew them, the legal advisor to the prime minister and also um, the courts have said that it has, to, it has to go through legislation and can't mm -hmm. be another of what, what would be called an executive order, even though an executive order in Israel is when a minister as opposed to the prime minister gives it. I see. All right. And so, so other than extending enforcement, I believe, to 10 months. Uh, there are limitations on freedom of movement, employment, protests? Right, absolutely. There's um, The government can declare certain areas uh, of limited movement, what we call in Hebrew seger. It's kind of mm -hmm. as they closed off, for example, Bnei Brak in the, sure. in the past a few months. They can also limit it, um, businesses, and they can limit it, uh, freedom of, uh, of assembly, and also give policemen the authority to break up those protests and to put people in jail, to give them to give them fines, and also in the in the original um, in the original uh, law that was published for um, for comments by the by by the, the general population, it was that policemen would be able to enter people's house mm. without without a warrant, and that uh, that received a lot of backlash. I see. So okay, so Avi Nissenkorn now, new justice minister, he's talking about uh, reducing or softening some of these restrictions. Can we, can you speak to that? Uh, Avi Nissenkorn has said that people will still be able to protest mm -hmm. and that police will not enter enter regular citizens' house for no reason. Benny Gantz, who's, also, who's the um, defense minister and also the uh, co-prime the co the co yeah. minister, we've never had, a, we've never had something like that. Um, he's also said that um, we are gonna, we are not gonna, uh, you know, throw away the concepts of, of civil rights. We're gonna make sure that they're protected, even though we have to enact certain things during this next period of time. Now, c certain civil rights and, and civil liberties, are they enshrined in Israel as they are elsewhere? So, um, the what exactly is the is the source of is the mm. source of our rights in Israel? Um, you know, some have said that basically everything is permitted except when the law says it's not. Others others have said that our rights now come from basic laws such as the um, the human the human uh, respect for, for for human rights, which was which was passed in in 1992. Mm. Um, what was publicized by by the government has um, has says many times that everything that will be enacted in this legislation is of course um, taking into consideration this human rights law that was passed in, in 1992. So it would seem that even as there are emergency measures, they're using that law as sort of a basis from from for how to decide what they can enact and what they can enact. All right, well, it's going to be really interesting to see if this passes in its first readings and subsequent readings uh, and whether or not it's softened. Gideon, thank you so much for your insights today. Thank you.